Oh, today is a good day. Ask me why. It's good or bad. Why is it such a good day today? It's a fantastic day today because in seven days time, nobody, I repeat, nobody except the postman will be coming to my front doorstep asking for pop sockets or t-shirts or a signature or something. Go away. <coughs> Scoop view, bitch. But behind closed doors, I'm a fool for your love. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. It is your boy, FinSB, a.k.a. The Lion Man from Epic Movie. Welcome back to another episode of Scoot Review, the weekly news show where I bring you the latest in scootering news. Yeah. Seen a couple of memes recently. I see all these kids raving about Fortnite and how great it is. Yo, 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 yo! But if you're a real man, you'll play the actual game PUBG. What a f***ing nigga. That's kind of what this situation is like. We've got some very interesting news topics to cover today, so sit back, relax, grab a snack, grab a drink of water, grab a Vivid, and write a quick note on your hand saying, Do not take Scooter Brad. Can you... So seriously, can you guys even read that? Oh, oh, look at that. If you guys do enjoy Scoot Review, slap the like button down below really quick for me. The notification shout out goes to this person today. <laughs> Bye. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on to keep up with the latest in scootering news and to keep up with my vlogs that I will be posting daily throughout December. And with that being said, let's get right into the scootering news. Our previous clip of the day winner was Jordan Clark riding for Mad Gear Pro Scooters with this amazing world first clip. Aruni. 540 flare double downside here with. Our first clip of the day today comes from Derek Say with this flip drop. But it's not the flip drop you're thinking of. Roll it. Straight off the flat top. Wow. <laughs> Owen Wilson's just so funny. The second clip of the day today comes from Justin Phillips. And this man is always featuring clip of the day, man. Roll it. Double tail whip to back lip slide. Wow. Haha, <laughs> give me that. I need to expand my vocabulary. Oh my goodness, the talent of Justin Phillips is exquisite, I must say. Double tail whip to back lip slide on that handrail. Very, very nice. I dig it. The third clip of the day today comes from Jara Mini Sukop at Corby Indoor Skate Park with this, what I think is, Whip Rewind Bry Double Late Whip. Resi counts. Props to him. However, was it good enough to take out clip of the day? You be the judge. Click up in the cards above my head just now and vote for your favorite clip of the day. And we will announce the winner in the next episode of Scoot Review. The first stack of the day today was posted by Asphalt Poser Club. And this one's a nutcracker. Roll it. Board sliding that kink to curve and then boom! Right in the scrotum. That man is no longer having children. Probably can't get a girlfriend because he's scooters anyway. <laughs> yeah, funny. The second stack of the day today comes from Zach Pullen, and uh, this guy's really good at backies, as you can tell. Roll it. <laughs> I, oh, I just, you know, some people just aren't made to do flips. Zach, my man, I just don't think you're pulling right. Why? Slornia Crossgrove with this dirt scoot dolphin dive at the trails. Oh, dude, I'm getting so much speed. I'm going to hit this jump like a ball. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Bobby, help me. The stack's okay. These kids really are a pack of dolphins. Listen to that kid's laugh. Our previous winner of Stack of the Day was NW Leaf with this back lift to Origami Fold. So again, make sure you guys are voting up in the cards for the winner of Stack of the Day today, just up there, and we will reveal the winner again in the next episode of Scoot Review. Undialed Windbreakers are now available. That's all. Just thought you should know. We reported here on Scoot Review a little while back that the new Elite Profile handlebars would be coming to stores very shortly. And here is an actual picture of what they look like. They are three colors, gold, black, and chrome, which evidently were the same colors that the older anchor bars were released in. And these bars look absolutely amazing. Can't wait to try these out. There is also a brand new colorway in the 4.8 Elite Supreme V2 deck, which is a light chrome blue. Looks very, very nice. And we can see that on the box, there is going to be no other new colors, just 
the light blue to join on to the gold, camo, and floral colors. It has also been confirmed that the five wides will also be back in stock very shortly. The Volt Pro Scooters officially now has new stock of the AOS V4 limited edition range, including the Charles Padel, Flavio Pizzenti, John Reyes, Waza, and Raymond Warner decks, along with the XL deck, the SES, and the new Holocaust, which come in not one, two, but three different colorways. The North Transit and Lake Gooch SIGs are also now in stock at the Vault, and make sure you guys are using the code B-O-O-T-E-R, that's Buddha for 10% off anything on the VaultProScooters.com. Tilt Transport, the mid-length video from Tilt Scooters has finally been released, and my golly, it is an absolute beaut. Amazing, well done. Big ups to Tilt Scooters, thank you so much for creating good content. Unlike some. Speaking of Tilt Transport, I'll be doing a live stream at 12 p.m. PST, that's midday Pacific Standard Time tomorrow, where I watch the entire Tilt Transport video and you guys can come and watch it with me and hang out and chat about the video and just ask me questions and all that good stuff. So make sure you join in, join in, join in at 12 p.m. PST tomorrow. I'll be posting it on my Instagram and all over my story as well. So if you want to come and join me, keep on the lookout for that. Anyways, here are some randomly selected clips made into a quick compilation from the Tilt Transport video. If you want to check out the whole thing, the link will be down in the description below. There's a brand new pump track at Rampwork Skate Park over in Liverpool, England, and Jamie Hull has been the first to show off some of his talents on the pump track, and boy, does it look like a whole lot of fun. Check out this footage. This place has corners, it's got berms, they're picking up speed, it looks like a lot of fun, so if you want to go and check it out if you live in the Liverpool area, make sure you head down to Rampworks and check out that new pump track. John Marco Gatos is currently sitting out for a couple of weeks whilst he recovers from severe heel bruising. He just returned from the UK at Scoot Fest, and he released a brand new video part featuring his riding at the Scoot Fest competition, which I will play some of my favorite clips of right now. It seems as if there are plenty of video parts being released shortly. Kevin Austin is dropping his Welcome to Rivico part on the 7th of December. They posted this picture up on Instagram describing the fact that this video will be dropped. And you know this one is about to be another banger. Kevin Austin's previous video part also made Scoot Review and you will only find the best in scootering content right here on the show. Dunk Easy has once again shared his opinion on prior friend Jake. I almost said Jake Paul, sorry, they're very comparable. Jack Doubt in his latest Q&A video titled, My Opinion on Jack Doubt. In the video, he explains why he's no longer so fond of his former friend, and this is what he had to say. Some of the stuff that he's done is pretty whack. That's why I've hated on him in some of my previous videos. But like me and Jack don't have any beef. I don't really like Jack because he did just come in and ruin the whole thing, like made everyone start vlogging and stuff but you know it was kind of for the better kind of for the worse jack didn't come into the group it'd probably just be worse filming on the fish eye or whatever the sawn daisy sessions like the good old days you know jack came in kind of ruined that for the better or for the worse i don't really know guys let me know your opinions down in the comment section down below it seems as if duncan is not so happy with the way that things have gone with their entire group but if you want to let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below feel free to do so otherwise check out duncan's full video to hear his full explanation on the subject. But that's not all that's been said about Jack Doubt this week. Busty Justy has also left Outset Select. Are you fucking kidding me? Now hang on, you mean to tell me that Tommy Dodano's friend, Busty Justy, left the... Are you, what? Someone please explain this to me, okay? As a friend of Justin's, I did reach out to him for a comment to bring onto the show. 
He has not yet responded at this point. Everyone's quite confused about this situation. People have been piping up all over the Instagram comments section, except for Tommy, Outset, Mike, and Outset Select themselves. So here's all we know right now. Keith Urban, Christian Dean, Olivia Monks, and a bunch of other writers have been weighing in on the situation in the comments section of Busty's Instagram post. Outset Select has posted nothing in regards to Jack Doubt leaving the team, nor have they posted anything about Justin leaving the team. At first, people thought it was a troll coming from Busty because obviously he's one of the tightest homies in that group and nobody expected him to actually leave the team. So could this be a troll? Maybe, but Jack Doubt, the little snake, commented on the Instagram post saying this, damn, I'm starting trends out here sunglass emoji and that is when busty struck back with this savage comment at jack doubt nah you got kicked because nobody liked you <laughs> i spoke to mike from outset when jack was removed from the team and he explained to me that the reason why he was removed from the team was because he didn't provide any content for outset to post on their instagram uh, did i just say outset no raw clips that were sent to outset for them to post raw on their instagram pages nothing to promote him from their side he was pretty much just doing a lot of taking and not a lot of giving he also was failing to tag outset in most if not all of his instagram posts didn't have them in his bio the same with urban art at this stage as well you can see it in his posts. he didn't tag them enough and that is why they made the decision to remove him from the team i can already see the upcoming comment section of this video guys i'm just letting you know the news and the story behind this topic because everybody is asking questions and i'm here to give you the answer this is not a personal vendetta this is fact this is what happened this is the situation as we know it so far so don't get butt hurt. If you remember a while ago, I made a video defending Jack in the situation where Outset Select had their after party after a street jam and allowed Sugar Shane to perform his diss track on Jack Doubt to a live crowd. <laughs> A lot of these writers chat shit about not wanting beef in the scootering industry, but like, what is this video? Oh my god, but Jax is savage. Mm. The iPhone X is waterproof. At this point in time, I personally believe that Justin decided to leave the team on his own accord. There's no way that his friends would kick him off a team that he was so heavily involved when he has, however, been unfollowed by Outset Select on Instagram, so I'm sure this is an official movement, and it is not a troll, sadly. The only people remaining on the following list are Tom Dad, of course, Devin Solowski, Reese Drozoma, Michael Mankong, Snoop Set, aka Mike, Devin Healed, Badger Clit, and Le Gooch. So that's that story done and dusted. Unfortunately, Justin has moved on from Outset Select. What is next for him? He still writes for TSI at this point in time. Who knows, maybe he'll leave that team or join another team in the near future. I'm not too sure. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below this video. Finishing up on a positive note here, Proto Scooters turned nine years old yesterday. Oh, they just... They're growing up so fast. I remember way back in the day when Andrew Broussard first invented the STS compression system. I watched that tutorial video at least 50 times before I hopped on the internet and actually ordered a clamp for myself. It was one of the best decisions of my entire life. The clamp lasted me two years and I'm pretty sure it's still floating around people's spare setup boxes and spare parts and all that kind of thing. So thank you, Proto, for being such an amazing progressive brand. Big ups to you, Andrew Broussard. Thank you for what you've done for the community. You are amazing and here's to another nine years can't wait for the decade hit tomorrow i mean next year what am i saying i announced yesterday that i was going to be giving away two pairs of the mgp 120 millimeter wheels here is our first winner on screen right now and i'll be answering on three and i'll be announcing another winner in tomorrow's vlog so make sure you come back for the video tomorrow to find out if you have won a pair of 120 millimeter wheels now's your last chance to go back to yesterday's video which will be up in the cards watch that through and listen to the instructions on how you could win a pair of these wheels that are just over here behind me so good luck to you and congratulations to the winner that took her home these pairs of wheels i'll be damning you on instagram so make sure you hit me back with your address and i'll get those out to you asap i'm having a flash sale on my website for the next 24 hours there'll be an additional 10 percent off every single product on the website no codes no bs just head to the link in the description and go to scooterbrad.com and cop some merch cop some gear before christmas 
and it will be fire lit. It's going to be flip. But that's pretty much it for the news today, guys. It was a little bit slow, but do not forget to follow me on Twitter. You can also follow me on Instagram. We're just about to hit 190,000. Also, big ups to Clayton Lindley. He just hit 200k. So, my man's, my man's. Good job. Well done. You can also subscribe to the channel that you're watching right now. This one here. It's the best channel on YouTube. Haha, <laughs> not really. And you can join the notification squad. The second notification shout out goes to this person right here. <laughs> Get out of here. You can also join the Facebook group, Scoot Review, which is where two of our stack of the days came from today. So, your best chance to get featured on the show is to join the Facebook group and send in your content only. The best scooter and content gets posted on the page. That is it for today's Scoot Review. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Scooter Brad and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace out. Have an amazing day. Later.